Hey guys, welcome to Web Coding. So in this video, we are going to discuss our new que new question uh, of searching and sorting series. Okay. So my question here is chocolate distribution. So in this question, we'll be given an array of positive integers n, where each value represents the number of chocolates in in a packet. So here, n is the number of packets, and the value at particular index indicates the number of chocolates in that particular packet. Okay. So there are m students and the task is to distribute the chocolate packets among m students such that each student get exactly one packet so we have to distribute uh, like n number of packets in m students such that every single uh, student get only exactly one packet right so if i am given n if i have six number of chocolate six chocolate packets okay and i have four students so i can give assign give them only one one packet okay i can give them only four packets okay I cannot give them six packet like I give one packet to one student and then two packet to some other. Okay, so we have only we have to give only exactly one packet to only a single student, right? And the difference between the maximum number of chocolates given to a student and the minimum number of chocolates given to a student is minimum. So let's discuss what this line says. Suppose first of all, I have number of packets. Let's say I have six. Okay. I have six packets of chocolate and I have four students to distribute among. Okay, so first of all, say I have two chocolates in first packet, one chocolate in second packet, five chocolate in third packet, seven chocolates in fourth packet, and three chocolates in fifth packet, and then eleven chocolates in sixth pack packet. Okay, right. And my I have four students. So let's say if I distribute like this, if I give uh, first packet to first student, second packet to second student. Third packet to third student, fourth packet to the fourth students. Okay, so here the maximum number of chocolates in the in a packet is seven, and here the minimum number of chocolates in a packet is uh, one. So one student is given just seven chocolates, and one student is given only a packet of a single chocolate. Right. So here difference is six. Right, because the student with the minimum number of chocolate and the student with the maximum number of chocolates uh, has a difference of six chocolates. Right. Which is not good actually. Okay, so we have to avoid this difference. We have to minimize this difference, right? So if if I if my array contains some uh, distribution like this, one, two, three, four, so I would have simply distributed in such a manner that the difference was minimum. So four minus one would be equal to three. So here the difference would be less. Okay, so there is a difference of only three chocolates between them, but six is a huge difference. Okay. Now, if I again say, if I distribute this chocolate, this packet in such a manner that, let's say, I give five chocolates to one student, seven chocolate chocolates packet to one student, three chocolate packet to one student, eleven chocolate packet to one student. So here the minimum number of chocolates one student is getting is three, and maximum number of chocolates one student is getting is eleven, right? So difference here will be eleven minus three, which is equals to eight, which is even more larger than this, right? Now, if I say I again have a distribution that is one, two, three, five. Okay, so the difference here would be this is max, this is min, this one is min. One student is getting only single chocolate and one student is getting the maximum chocolate that is five. So the difference here is five minus one that is equals to four. But it's still the minimum among all these three, right? It's the minimum. Now, if I again say I have another distribution that is two, three, five, seven. Now this is the maximum this is the minimum now the difference here is 5 so still the minimum is this right so we have to minimize this difference only okay this is our main purpose that is so so that there is no conflicts between the two st students that that is that you are getting more than it will say that you are getting much more chocolates than me it will say i am getting only one chocolates okay so i don't want to create conflicts in my student in between my students so i would try to minimize this difference okay so let's see how i can minimize it, this difference okay now let's take another another example let's make an array okay so 2 1 3 5 13 8 7 6 okay this is my distribution n is equals to 6 m is equals to 4 so if i say if i sort this array i get the Answer in some less time. I can like sorting will help me in solving this problem easily. Let's see how. I have sorted this array first. Now, if I distribute in such a manner, that is one, two, three, five. 
my difference here will be 5 minus 1 that is equals to 4 okay if I distribute here in this way 1 2 3 1 2 5 8 1 2 5 8 it gives me uh, an answer of 7 if I distribute 1 2 5 13 1 2 5 13 it gives me an answer of 12 so from here I can see as I'm increasing these indexes because it was initially at 4 like it was here at 4 till 4 I am getting the minimum answer as I increase my index in the sorted array the difference try uh, like uh, tends tends to increase so I would be just uh, checking this index only for this one right when so I say whenever my chocolates in a packet minimum number of chocolates in my packet is one that is minimum number of chocolates I'm assigning to a student is one so I can I should give the maximum chocolates to the maximum chocolate number of so the maximum number of chocolates given uh, given to a student should be five it, it should not be more than five okay so the so, so only then we can get the minimum difference of max minus min okay so so that only we can have less difference between the maximum and the minimum okay so there would be no 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 conflicts so as here from here as I see as I increase uh, indexes I get more difference so this is useless for me i won't do this okay so from here i will be doing what my index here is equals to zero i will be making a frame from i is equals to zero till till i plus m m here is four so i is zero m zero plus four minus one that is equals to four minus one it is index three this is index three actually okay so from i is equals to zero till three i will be making a frame i would be checking the answer for this only because i would i would would not uh, like consider this because it is all because I already know this is going to give me an answer which will be much, much larger than this okay so I'll be just checking for this only okay so my so here I again say whenever I uh, take the uh, I take the packet that contains only one chocolate as my minimum so my maximum should be uh, of five chocolates okay so my maximum uh, packet should be of five chocolates only on, right so this only then I can get the minimum difference okay because here uh, like the difference is going to increase when i consider 8 and 13 okay so for this one i can only have maximum of 5 till 5 right all right from again for 2 if i say my packet of minimum chocolates the minimum number of chocolates i'm giving to our students is 2 so i can also have 2 3 5 8 only the difference here would be 8 minus 2 that is equals to 6 okay so from here also if i do this 2 3 5 13 the difference is going to increase that will be 13 minus 2 that is 11 so i'm not going to consider this again i here is equals to 1 and m plus i is equals to what m plus i 1 plus m is what 1 plus m is 5 and 5 minus 1 that is 4 so i will be making a frame for 2 1 till 4 only okay now for this 3 for this 3 also i will be making a frame from 2 to 5 2 3 4 5 right 3 5 8 13 so th 2 it will be 3 5 8 13 so difference will be 13 minus 3 that is 10 and i cannot consider anyone anything else right because i'm not going to because there is no no packet at all right so i can only have this this difference i can only have this uh, distribution for 3 so whenever my minimum number of chocolates would that i'm going to give and give to a student with is 13 Three, so my maximum can only be 13 only right it cannot be more than this okay and if i say if i arrange this in such way if i say can i do this three five eight one can i do this if i say three five eight one if i distribute in such a manner so from here as you can see if i uh, arrange like this if uh, that i give a student i give a student three five 8 and 1 right i give my uh, my if my arrangement is like this 3581 then what and my uh, then my uh, minimum will be here 1 but for 1 i'm not going to uh, take 8 here right because i have for 1 i have already calculated my answer so from from here i as i can see i am not going to include anything from here okay once i come to this index i am not going to take make any frame for the previous index okay because this is going to only maximize the difference now here 1 1 minus 8 minus 1 is going to give me 7 right because the max here is 8 mean here is 1 okay 
so i'm not going to consider uh, one here because i have already calculated the answer for one here also right okay so i hope it was clear to you so first of all the main thing that i get to know is i have to sort the array and then i have to make the frames of size m m size i will be making frames of size m and how many frames i will be making so it will be equal to n minus m plus 1 n min sorry it will be equal to n minus m plus 1 n min n here is what n here is 6 m here is 4 plus 1 will be 3 so here we will be having 3 frames right first frame for 1 second frame for 2 third frame for 3 because after 3 i cannot make any frame for 5 because i have no element here right so here number of frames will be n minus m plus 1 okay so if i start my loop from 0 from 0 so my loop will run till n minus m okay 0 1 and 2 okay so first of all we have to sort and then we have to um, make frames and find out the minimum answer right find out the minimum difference in these frames okay and then we'll be returning the minimum difference so now let's try to code this first of all i make a answer variable that initially contain the maximum value of integer okay and then what do i have to do i will be sorting my array that is must right so we'll be sorting it first of all and you know why are we sorting this we are sorting this so that we can get the answer in only three items like only less iteration we don't have to traverse the whole array okay and it does not take take that much time okay so i'll be sorting this and then i will be running a loop for int i is equals to 0 i less than n minus m Le it should be less than equals to n minus m i plus plus okay now answer is will be equal to minimum of the my previous answer and arr of i plus m minus 1 because it, because it is in index form so i will be take minus i will be subtracting 1 and then return my answer return answer and let's try to submit this sorry run this i will i'm get, getting an error sort arr dot begin arr sorry it will be arr first of all uh, let me show you the code properly and explain it again to you okay see here in this uh, problem what i have done i have made an uh, answer variable sorry i have made an answer variable and what am i doing here is i have made an wait i have sorted the array here i have sorted the array okay at this point i have sorted the array now at this point i will be i am just making fr frames okay and then uh, like uh, solving uh, and then calculating the max minus min and then updating my minimum value okay and then updating my answer according to the minimum value okay and then returning my answer okay so this is a code of only four line so let's try to submit this run and submit this okay so let's try to run this code okay accept it and then submit okay submitted so i hope i made it clear to you so i hope it was clear to you and i and, and i hope you like this video so if you like this video please like share and comment and thanks for watching